Dear colleagues, this surgery is being done by one of my fellows. PC rent has already occurred. She is managing the nucleus and the nucleus got managed in presence of this PC rent. She removed the probe unaware of the PC rent. I noticed at this time I took over the case. Let us see how this PC rent was managed. I took triams neuron acetate at the beginning, injected the triams neuron acetate in the anterior chamber. Some of these triams neuron acetate went into the antivitreous. Now I have taken cutter in my right hand and irrigating proof in my left hand. The irrigation is through the side port at 1.30 o'clock and the cutter is through the 8 o'clock because the PC rent is very close to the 8 o'clock side port. I introduce the cutter through the rent, go into antivitreous and then start cutting. I don't start cutting being in the capsular bag or being in the anterior chamber. I have gone behind the posterior capsule, about 3-4 millimeter behind the posterior capsule in the anterior vitreous cavity and I am cutting and removing the vitreous strands. The trams nolone acetate molecules are also coming out. So, limbal vitrectomy can comfortably be done if we go through the rent into the antivitreous and after reaching there into the antivitreous, if we start cutting, definitely we don't pull vitreous strands into the anterior chamber. In this case, all the molecules went behind, all the transneuron acetate molecules went behind the posterior capsule into the port of the cutter. Now I am using a Simco cannula to remove the cortex. Removal of cortex is very easy now because there is no vitreous here. Now I go through the side port at 1.30 o'clock and remove the cortex which was there at 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock. Now I do a little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule. I can see that there are some fibers sticking to the posterior capsule. Thorough polishing is not possible because the rent can extend. However, the rent is like a posterior capsular excess. Doing some more anterior vitrectomy, again I am behind the plane of posterior capsule into the antivitreous and after reaching there, I am using the cutter. You can see I am going behind the posterior capsule frequently. And now in this case I have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and I am implanting this lens in the bag. Here the leading haptic is going between the anterior capsule and the posterior capsule at 3 o'clock. Now I have to place the lens inside the entry chamber. Now I am using the irrigating probe to place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag like this. That's it. The lens is nicely placed in the bag though 
the capsular bag is disrupted the haptics are securely placed in the equatorial region of the bag I am placing the haptics in such a way that no portion of haptic is in the rent area now I inject air hydrate the side ports inject some antibiotic moxifloxacin into the entry chamber hydrate the side ports to make these stab incisions waterproof dear colleagues if we manage PC rents nicely patients get very good vision so the side ports have been hydrated and now this is the final anterior chamber lavage with BSS the air bubble is removed and the chamber is formed with BSS and the case is concluded dear colleagues we must have vitectomy system in our OT ready because PC rent can occur anytime and we have to manage it nicely Thank you very much for your attention.